Shalom. Call hello in la Yahweh by Shem. Yahweh Shai by Shem. Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and nails great millstone. And the singers to hope like around the world. May Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai continue to protect and guide our steps throughout these turbulent times. This is your brother Nadal. Come at you with another one. Today's lesson is all they that hate me. Once again, all they that hate, okay, or, or have ill will, okay, towards the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, or those that do his will, okay. It's made uh, two thirds by people, Esau, even these other nations, okay. They despise the ways of Yahweh Shah, okay, and ultimately, all in all, you know what I'm saying, regarding two thirds by people. They're also going to be uh, destroyed, okay, because these are the same spirits, okay, back in the reincarnation. They don't uh, want Yahweh shot to rule over them, okay. And they're also going to uh, perish by the famine, okay, the pestilence, okay, that these devils are creating upon the earth, these daily concoctions, okay. And also that swore, okay, those missiles. All right, we're going to get the definition of hate. Regard with ill will, have a passionate aversion to, treat as an enemy. That's right. And uh, majority of our people, uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Sioux Indians, you have uh, a problem with the prophets, okay? Name the uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the man like doctrine, okay? When you hear the truth, okay? When they're out on the highways and byways, the cheap concourses, okay, bring the word out, you're offended, okay, and all in all, you're going to be destroyed by not taking heed or giving ear, okay, to that voice, all right. Let's see, uh, grief, sorrow, calamity, and you're, uh, ultimately, <laughs> two thirds of our people, you're going to be in many calamities, okay. During these times, especially during Jacob's trouble, okay, it's ultimately, okay, your judgment, okay, although they hopefully let, okay, are going to the well within the midst of it, they're going to be protected in that day, okay, or in that time of trouble, all right, and ultimately delivered, all right, grief, sorrow, calamity, uh, let's see, let's get, all right, Hatred, spite, envy, malice, hostility. That's right. And a lot, a lot of our people, they hear the prophets. <clears throat> bringing up the uh, prophecies and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. They are very hostile, okay, towards the men of the Lord. And all in all, you're going to be destroyed, okay. And this ultimately, you're stopping the law, okay. By looking upon the men, okay, they bring out the, uh, the prophecies. Okay, and bring them in lost sheep for the house of Israel that we ultimately can be delivered. Okay, and your your hatred or your malice, okay, your ill intent is going to uh, ultimately get you destroyed. Okay, and you have to be brought back. Okay, through the laws of the elect, those same ones that prophesying is true. Okay, through spirit and truth. Okay, through spirit and power, y'all about Shemi Yahushua. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go to uh, Proverbs chapter eight. Proverbs chapter eight. Let's start at verse thirty-five. For whosoever find it, me find life. Who is that me? Talking about Yahweh Shai. It's true. Oh, okay. The will is not John Stanley of scriptures. Okay. And that's ultimately how you're going to be, okay, stable in the times to come. Okay, knowing who you are, knowing who your enemies is, and knowing ultimately, okay, what's to come to pass, having that foresight ultimately, being prudent, okay, and shall attain favor or grace, okay, of that mercy of the Lord, y'all, by showing y'all child. And ultimately, that's what the hopeful let, okay, I'm looking forward to having mercy. Y'all by Shem Yahushua having mercy upon us, okay, because we greatly offended, okay, by not uh, following his ways, which are the laws, statutes, and commandments, 
was written throughout the scriptures, okay? And that's the only way, okay, rehearsing those righteous acts, that we're going to uh, get back to the good graces because we can't keep our laws perfectly, okay? Because we're in this mortal flesh. And we won't be perfect till you how shot makes his second return, okay? He comes with those immortal bodies. I wrote this out with that whole phenomenon, okay? Verse 36. But he they sin, I trespass against me, wrong with his own soul. It's main two-thirds by people that worship Christianity, okay? Catholicism, Buddhism, even uh, uh, Islam, okay? You also are going to be destroyed, okay? All that hate me, love death. That's right. It's two-thirds by people. They said, crucify him, crucify him. Let his blood be upon us. Okay, they are back in their reincarnation. In that same lot. And uh, those are going to be destroyed, okay? Ultimate. Because Yahweh Shah is their door, ultimate. All right. Let's go to uh, Mr. James No John. Chapter 10. Okay. God, okay, I'm going to start at verse 2, but he that entered by the door, and that door is talking about Yahweh Shai, is the shepherd of the sheep, and it's making talk the prophets, the ones bringing out the uh, prophecies, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures in these times, okay, all right, let's see, uh, all right, verse 7, then said Yahweh Shah unto them again, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. That's right. Ultimately, Yahweh Shah is that door. Okay. And the lost sheep in these present times, that's the elect. The ones that's coming back to their voice, okay. To the voice of the prophets. And hearken to the words that's written, okay. All right. Let's see, uh. All right, verse 8, all that ever came before him are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear him. Okay, it's talking about the false prophets. It's talking about, okay, the mark of the beast is uh, sin. It's not a physical mark, okay. And ultimately, they're leading their uh, sheep astray. And they're ultimately going to be destroyed by doing so, okay. All right, verse 9, I am the door. It's talking about Yahweh Shai. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, ultimately delivered, okay? In that time of uh, the hour of temptation, okay? It's rapidly approaching when they crash that dollar. They're trying to pull that biz marquee, which is the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, okay, upon the whole world. But the elect are going to shine, okay, this beast system. And ultimately, that mark, which is a physical mark, is going to be subdominant implanted, okay, on your skin. In order for you uh, to continue in this B system, all this wrong 2.0, okay, which is does these devils a uh, new world order ultimate, all right, and that's gonna be an ultimate test, all right, even unto death, even though it's gonna be martyrs for the truth, that's an arm with death, okay, and shall go in and out if I'm pastor, and that pastor is talking about this truth ultimate, okay, the words is gonna lead to life, okay. As long as we endure to the end, okay, y'all by showing y'all shots gonna take take care of the rest. And he wants to show that power ultimately. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go to John chapter 3. Verse 36. God, he that believed on the Son, to make Yahweh Shah had everlasting life. It's talking about the elect these times, okay. And once it's uh they turn to the wisdom, not just standing the scriptures, and rehearsing those righteous acts, hopefully, and believe on the words that's written. And he that believeth not, the son shall not see life. It's to my two thirds of our people. Okay, they refuse the truth. They shun the prophets. The old are going to be destroyed. But the wrath, okay, the anger of the Most High Yahweh, abideth on him, remain on you. That's right. And those are going to be destroyed, okay, for your disobedience. Okay, but ultimately that's your lot, and everybody's here for judgment, whether it be good or evil. Okay, and you want to receive that good judgment, ultimately being delivered, 
okay, and say how the, uh, the thermonuclear fire that concentrate laser fire from those chariots, okay? Because Yahweh Shah's coming back, coming back, okay, to render his vengeance upon the earth. All right. And you don't want to feel that heat at all, okay? And this is going to get Luke, uh, chapter 19. In verse 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them to my two thirds of my people, bring hither and slain them for me. That's right, and ultimately these other heathen nations. Okay, because we're going to have to beat them into submission. Mainly these damn so called white people, these Edomites. Okay, because they'll ultimately, okay, we're created to be the wicked. Okay. And they're going to receive double. Okay. It's going to be a real time. And ultimately, you know what I'm saying? These devils will fend the pinch. Okay. That uh, uh, wicked queen of, okay, being destroyed, ultimately. All right. All right. Uh, let's get, uh, let's go to the apocrypha. Let's go to the second answer. Second answer is chapter. Which one would go? Okay, yeah, second answer is chapter 12, so like it. Chapter 12. Okay, verse 13. Behold, hey, look, the days will come, okay, according to prophecy, that there shall rise up a kingdom upon earth, talking about the new Jerusalem. What's rapidly approaching, okay? Not this wicked queen, of, okay? It's ruled by these so-called white people who are, in fact, Edomites, okay? This is screwed, okay? We're next to rule upon the Yahweh shot. And it shall be a fear above all kingdoms that were before it, okay? And it's going to be an everlasting kingdom on our Lord Yahweh shot. And that's ultimately, okay? When these devils are going to be put in submission, they're going to rule, uh, 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 be put in submission or be servants for a thousand years, okay? Then ultimately round it up and destroy it, okay? Ultimately exterminate it over that 118 these other eight nations, okay? Will be, uh, uh, paying, uh, tribute, okay, basically. But they will be put back in their, uh, own land, but they still be, uh, under our rule. Okay, we have to follow our ways, uh, law, statutes, and commandments, what's written. Okay, so it's going to end this lesson on Yenna by saying, Shalom, Kwan Yasharala, Wabak Shabak, Shabak Shah, Yabashim Yawa Shai, Kwan Yawa La, Yazar, No Wahashi, Ama, and Lahang Yapu Wamata, Yahim, Wabak Ball, Bob Ball, Bob Ball, Shalom.